YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Xerxes coming back at you with another update for the Frostblades Trickster in Necropolis League. Um, it's been a couple of days since I posted the last update, and since then, we've made some upgrades, boys. I don't know if you can see, but uh, Heat Shiver acquired. I uh, I was shitting my pants when I finally got this thing to drop. Um, so Heat Shivers acquired when I first had it drop, it literally low rolled the resistances 20 and 20. So I hit it with the divine, ended up with 30 and 23. We called that good. So I'm very happy about this. My damage jumped up uh, significantly uh, as soon as I put this on. So we've made some upgrades to the build. I am going to go over them after we run a map. Um, as you can see, I'm level 98 right now. And so I'm just farming T16 strands um, with like no juice, no craziness because I'm trying to level up. So it's not going to be like some crazy showcase um, right now, but you can just see what the, the build looks like. Um, not a whole lot is going to have changed, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll go through just in case maybe this is the first video that you've seen or something like that. And just so you can see how the, how the build plays. Finally, um, I cleared a T17 map. I've been taken down to uh, Fortresses because that's where the yoke drops. Still no luck on that. It seems like it's a very low drop rate, unfortunately. Um, but we're, we're farming Strand because it seems like um, Fortress has a higher chance to drop in this map for, for whatever reason. So um, we've been going through here, and I've gotten quite a few of them already. I've probably killed the Fortress boss nine or ten times now, and uh, still no drop. I think based on what people are saying in... Uh, in trade league, some people have ran it like 80 times and not gotten it still. So it, it sounds like it might be like a 1% drop rate or something, which sucks in a solo self and solo self found environment. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? If I was in trade league right now, I would definitely have that. And my damage would be, um, it would be probably like at least 10 million more than what it is right now. So, um, you know, I'm actually kind of happy that I haven't played um, trade, though. It's made the the uh, the league a little bit more exciting for me. I haven't really been interacting with uh, syndicate stuff. I was trying to farm for a uh, another veiled orb, but as you'll see here in a second, one of the uh, the other upgrades that we made is a new weapon, which is just absolutely insane, um, even more insane than the first one that I had. So. I do need to farm another exalted orb because I uh, I crafted on the the fizz mod that costs an exalt to craft the highest fizz and it literally low rolled it was like 107 percent or nine percent or whatever the very bottom is and that was the last exalt that I had um, so I ended up switching it up and I crafted the uh, the fizz with blind on so um, right now I'm at 30 percent chance to blind so everything is pretty much blinded which is probably a little bit overkill, um, but until I get another uh, another exalt to slam on there, uh, we're just going to keep that blind on there because I don't think you can nece necessarily have too much blind, you know? Blind equals survivability, and that's what my main focus is right now is not dying. Temple map. Okay, let's... Man, I love the fact that they put in the hotkey that you can just auto-cast your portals, man. It's so sick. Okay, so map showcase is done. Let's go over um, the inventory. So as you can see, uh, we have a heat shiver here. What I have linked in here is my Herald device with Hatred, Grace, and Enlighten. And let's go to the... Um, so we made another upgrade here as well. So if you guys aren't aware, um, in order to get suppress capped on this build, you need 38 total, 38 total chance to suppress, right? Ideally, you want at least 19 on your body armor and at least 19 on your shield so if you can get the two suppress um, nodes or suppress affixes there you don't need suppress anywhere else so as you can see this chest is kind of shit but it rolled 19 suppress with some chaos res and so i just stuck with it this is going to be something that i'm going to try and upgrade here eventually um, ideally you want 19 suppress with high chaos and whatever resistance that you need and then you want to get as high evasion as possible with an empty prefix and then craft on fizz taken as um fire and whatever the other one is it's the gravitius mod that you can craft on there so that's like the gg you want over 2000 evasion with high resist high chaos and then um at least 19 suppress with fizz taken as and i rolled another shield over here this one uh, hit 19 suppress with 14 attack speed, life resist, and then I crafted on just cold and lightning damage. So this thing is pretty sick too. So um, as, as far as the links that are in the chest, I have gotten a couple of awakened gems. So uh, I'm currently leveling multi-strikes to try and hit a 2120. 
and then um, Zish actually found another awakened Ellie damage. So I swapped. I had another enlightened drop. So me and him traded. I traded him in enlighten uh, for an awakened Ellie damage, and this is leveling right now. Uh, Ruthless, I hit twenty one twenty. Frostblades, I hit twenty one twenty. Um, and then I had an Awaken added cold damage drop from one of the Maven Witness bosses. So I'm leveling this up currently as well. And then the last one is Nightblade. That's going to be the last gem that I try in 2120. So that goes over the gems. In here, uh, we just have Frost Bomb for some exposure with Whirling Blades and faster attacks. The, uh, this is the claw that I crafted. Okay, so um, as you can see, um, it hit T1 of everything that I wanted except for that craft on there was Fizz damage leached his mana and was I was like pretty much just have to YOLO a null and see if I can hit the mana so I bought a, uh, a null orb from Zish and uh, prayed to the RNG gods and it actually hit the mana so um, once I get another exalt like I was saying I will be crafting on the higher tier Fizz on there because I already have 10% chance to blind on my tree so I don't necessarily need that and the higher Fizz would be even more damage but this thing is absolutely nutty I uh, the the rolls on it are pretty insane because I did reroll um, explicit modifiers um, with like the divine from the um, from the graveyard. So all of these like mods, like uh, the flaring is literally perfect. The um, cold is like two, four, six off perfect, and the attack speed crit crit are both are all perfect. So this thing like if it would have rolled T one fizz, this would have been the best claw in the game. It like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but I kind of got a little unlucky, but this thing is still absolutely insane. So um, let me know if you guys want to, maybe I'll, I'll go over like a, in another video, how I, how I crafted this thing in the, uh, in the necropolis. If, if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to show you guys. So that covers the claw, the ring. I actually ended up re-rolling. Um, I think what I had on here was yeah it was t1 cold to attacks t1 ellie damage and ellie damage with attacks and then what i did was um prefixes can't be changed reforge chaos and then i hit like chaos with like decks which actually the decks actually helps out because i can throw a couple more tattoos on so i think i'm going to be throwing a couple tattoos on not sure which ones i'm going to do yet uh, but this actually opened up i mean ideally you don't want decks there but uh it is what it is i can throw a couple tattoos on there so and then i just crafted on attack speed uh and then i threw some i actually ended up getting a ton of resistance catalysts through um the um, all flames and so i threw those on there just for a little bit more chaos res so as you can see we're um, we're actually over uh, chaos res capped right now by 14 percent. so we have too much chaos res but uh it's never a bad thing to have a little bit more uh so that covers that the taming i found a couple ellie damage uh, catalysts that i threw on there so i'm just working on trying to find some more of those ideally you want to catalyst this up um, the claw or not the claw, excuse me. The, uh, amulet is still the same. I threw some attribute modifiers on there just to get a little bit more strength. Cause I didn't really have anything else that I needed to put on there. And I threw panopticon on there. I'm not sure if that was on there in the last video. <clears throat> I figured the chances of me getting a, a yoke at this point are pretty slim and panopticon was actually a pretty huge damage increase. So I just slapped that on there. If I get a yoke, I'll just have to farm some more blights. Not a big deal. Uh, this Stygian Vice is still the exact same, nothing different there. I might have thrown this the, a new jewel in here. This is just lamb, uh, lightning damage, cold damage, life, and attack speed. Pretty solid uh, uh, abyss jewel there. And then this hasn't changed. Either. Oh, wait, you know what? I might have done... I think I might have done a prefixes can't be changed reforge chaos on here as well because I needed a little bit more chaos res, but these are still pretty close to what they were if they're not the same. And then I needed more strength. So I put on this um, this pair of boots that uh, I just rolled with some. Initially, I rolled it with strength essences, but I couldn't I couldn't get it. So I just did movement speed essences and then hit this one, which was decent, and just crafted on strength. These are shit, um, but for now, they they get me to where I need to go. So we went over all these links. Let's go over here. Nothing's changed here. This is mark on hit, assassin's mark, and life tap. Really important, guys. I know I've covered this in a bunch of other videos, but it's like imperative that you get 20% uh, quality on your assassin's mark. If you don't, you're not going to be getting um, power charges against bosses. So this is just a waste if you don't have quality on here. Get quality on almost everything. The only thing you don't need it on is your um, auras, like grace and hatred. Don't need it there. Herald of Ice is actually nice because it gives you a uh, radius for the explosions. So I would recommend getting quality there. 
and like some of this other stuff like frost bomb you don't need uh quality there whirling blades and faster attacks i would definitely recommend having at 20 quality blood rage as well gives you extra attack speed uh, while it's active so it's five more attack speed get quality there uh bone chill don't need don't need bone chill on on quality or frost blink and then precision same thing don't need quality there uh, one thing that i would recommend getting some quality on is your multiple totems this helps with your totem placement speed and uh, you can get quality on your ancestral protectum which just or protector which just gives it a little bit more range which isn't bad but not super necessary so that covers all of the gear the flasks i ended up rolling some new flasks and just corrupted them until i hit something that had a little bit more um quality on them so like all of these are are decent this is t1 attack speed with charge recovery uh increased evasion that's t1 max max roll which is nice um the reduced duration is a little shitty but um you end up moving around like a madman once you once you pop that so i i like having the increased effect on the quicksilver flask and then what else do we have here um jade flask with duration and crit and then a uh, i didn't really have any other suffixes that i needed necessarily um since i have evasion on this one i just did evasion again uh but one thing you can do here is like chance to avoid being shocked if you're getting shocked a bunch that's a good suffix to have on a um, on a flask as well so that covers all of the changes here uh, let's see if there's any changes on the passive tree that i can mention none that i can think of um i did end up I, I in the last video i believe i spec these two points here to go up here and I, I ended up needing one more point so i just unspecced these my crit chance is still capped so i saved a point and then i got these two no, uh, points right here and this is a shitty jewel but i spent literally all the alterations and regals that i had trying to roll a better one and i just couldn't do it so this is definitely um, up next for the upgrades for sure because i don't need that chaos res and then the increased cold damage isn't ideal uh, ideally you'd want probably double crit multi with attack speed would be what you'd be looking for there um, and then since i did hit uh, 19 and 19 suppressed i was able to switch this mastery from lucky to an extra three percent so that's nice and then everything else should be the same except for this note here i did have to take this um, to solve some of my accuracy issues since my last claw um, i believe i have it in here somewhere uh, where was it was it this one yeah this claw right here was the one that i was using before and it had 544 flat accuracy so without that since i got this new claw i needed um I needed the close range mastery and it's actually not really that big of a deal because this um we don't have any other uh, accuracy masteries allocated so that for um for our polymath this gives us three percent more damage just by se selecting that so it fixes the accuracy problem and it's damage so that's not a not a bad point to uh, to put there so that covers all of that uh, i did get a new uh, lethal pride as well not sure if I had this in the last one. This one just has double damage in three spots, I'm pretty sure. So it has uh, DD here, double damage here, and then there should be one more. This is actually kind of nice too. It's not a huge deal, but 10% reduced damage from crits is nice. And this is Fizz taking his fire. So these two are like pretty solid defensive um, notables here. Increased melee damage is good. Um, and then I think, if I'm not mistaken, I th oh, there's uh, an extra 10% there too. I thought we had three DD nodes, but I could be wrong. Am I tripping? Maybe it was, hmm. I'm not sure which one was double damage, but I thought I had more double damage on here. But anyway, this one is uh, the best one that I could find so far. So I could have swore there was another DD on there, but maybe not. Anyway. Uh, this one's a 15 to 66. So that covers the passive tree. Um, let's talk about potential upgrades here. So the things that I'm going to be working on next, um, I think priority number one is going to be to get, um, a pair of gloves, right? So ideally on the gloves, if you're in a trade league, I would recommend getting a pair of gloves like these that have very, very high fractured accuracy, like as high as you can possibly get. And that will solve your, um, your issues with accuracy because right now luckily i have an enlightened three so i'm running precision at like level 11 which is where's it at here right so but ideally you want this to be down to like one one or two and so for now this is causing all kinds of problems right so if you're in trade league get a fractured pair of gloves with very high um accuracy and then hit them with the attack speed essence until you get um like 
chaos res, um, something like that. And with another good res, and then you can, um, use Eldritch currency to craft the rest of them. Just get life, uh, cold damage to attacks and then craft on damage while uh, flask is active. And that will be your GG uh, glove. So that's going to be the next thing that I'm working on. It'll allow me to do so much, but for the time being, I'm kind of at the, at the mercy of these gloves. So that'll be the next one. Obviously a yoke would be insane. Uh, I PO beat it and I'm pretty sure it gives me like 10 million more damage or something like that. But that's, uh, that's the next priority get a better pair of boots and then, um, as you can see here, once you can get this accuracy um, figured out, the ideal move would be to remove these points here, remove that point. Um, we would take these points away and all of these points away. And then, uh, once we have enough points, we can spec out of all that stuff and use a cluster jewel like this. So. In order for this to work, I believe it needs to be item level 84. You want this to be item level 84 to roll 35% increased effect, which I do have on here. So it's 35 effect. You want it to roll. And what you do is once you get this base, right, an item level 84 large cluster jewel with 12 passive skills um, with increased cold damage, what you do is you take it over to the harvest bench and you do either reforge attack or um, let's see here. I think I have this clicked. Yeah. So you hit it with these and this will guarantee that you're going to get that attack and cast speed. It can roll from one to two to three, right? So what you're, what you're doing is just spamming this until you hit 3% increased attack speed and 35 effect. And then from there, it's going to be kind of a, a null a exalt kind of gamble, right? But ideally what you, what I'm looking for on here is the attack and cast speed has to be at least three. You want at least 3% increased damage. You have to have 35% increased effect. And then the last one is kind of dependent on where you're at in your build. Uh, I would say the best ones that you can do are all res, all attributes or chaos res. So if you can hit those four, one of those three right there, then that's going to be your GG cluster. And like I was saying with the passive tree, um, once you can, once you can get one of those, you unspec all these points that I just mentioned. That's one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, right? And then you can spec those into here and you'll get a, an extra um, jewel slot too, which will be nice. So, and you can unspec these too. So that'd be 12, 13, right? Which would be perfect. That's what you need. So that would be a huge upgrade if I can do that. Just got to solve some accuracy issues and uh, some other stuff. So gloves, glove craft is going to be the next next big one. So um, I will leave the video there. Oh, just so you guys know too, I don't know that I went over um, my uh, POB, uh, which I will include in the description below. But um, with everything up, Vol War Chief up. Um, everything it's at 27 million 35,000 damage so we just cracked 20 uh, 27 mil which is huge i'm pretty sure the last video that we did was at uh, 18 so that's uh 9 million right seven eight nine yeah nine million damage that we have extra now from the last video so the build is feeling really good uh i'm actually super stoked that i went to this uh private league and doing ssf it's made me um much more like interested in the league. I know a lot of people in this current league are kind of burned out on trade, it seems like. So I'm, I'm really stoked that, uh, that I went this route. It's been a lot of fun. So as always, POB will be down in the description below. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment if you had any questions or concerns and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.